Hello everyone, this is Aldo from uh, ExcelNinja.com. In this video I want to show you all the options that are available to you with regards to formatting charts. So say for instance you have your uh, monthly sales for the year and as good as they look you want to show them on a chart and make it much more interesting, much more visually effective. So what you do, you just select the range and then you just insert and then here are all the charts are available. Now, for this particular kind of uh, data, the best way of showing is using a column chart. But of course, you can choose whichever chart you think is best for you. Let's start though with this using this chart. And in essence, um, the principles that I'll be showing you throughout the video are applicable to all the other kind of charts. As you can see, the basic that you get out of uh, Excel as a starting point is okay, but it could be better, I think. And so let's go and have a look on how to make this uh, chart better, more interesting. First of all, what I like to do is to put this chart instead of keeping it here on uh, on the worksheet, just put it on a separate tab. So we do that by right clicking on the actual chart and then we do move chart in the new sheet, chart three, you can call it whatever you want. And there you go, this is where it's put it. It's put a new sheet called chart three. So now we can have, well, first of all, you can see it better and then you can just start playing with it. Now, the important thing to notice is that everything that you can do with the chart essentially is from a graphic perspective is here on the chart tools. So once you click on the chart, there you go, this uh, ribbon will appear, chart tools, and you start off with design. Then you have layout and format. The first option here, I'll, I will not uh, explain every single one, I'll just explain the ones that in my experience are the most useful ones. So first of all, try, change chart type. So press on, click on this one, and you can see all the different options that you can um, display information in. Um, this is essentially all the charts are available to you within Excel. Uh, some are usable within this context. Say for instance, you want to show a line, you can do that. And just remember that any point in time you decide to change the chart type, you can do so just by going there and click on the ones that uh, on the one that makes um, is best for you. Then I will not go on switch row column, I'll go on to select data just to show you essentially what the chart is based on. So this takes me back to the original range and it shows me that the chart uh, is built using information in this range from cell A4 to B16 in the uh, uh, worksheet original. And then um, it's called sales, numbers are called sales and the horizontal axis labels are uh, the month that we have chosen. Within here you can add, edit or remove uh, information. So say for instance you want to, to add say another column with the corresponding budget to each month, you can do that and then you can add it here thereby adding information to your chart. Chart layouts, once you've chosen a chart, you can have you have different ready-made layouts available to you. So for instance, you click there, you'll get one where you already have the data labels like that. Uh, you click another, click another one where the data the legend is up here, etc. etc. It's up to you. If you find one that's already good for you, then excellent. You save a lot of time. However, let's go back to the start, and this is our starting point. And I choose, first of all, I usually choose uh, a different design. Um, this is the standard one you get. I usually go down here, and I personally prefer this one here. Uh, just a personal preference. You can choose whichever other you want, but I go like that. And it shows me a little bit of a bevel here, etc., etc. It's a bit more visually uh, attractive. So then again, you can choose whichever you want and whichever base color you want, etc, etc. So 
let's go back to the one the blue one that I like um, and then we can go on to layout and this is where the most of the magic happens as you can see at the moment what did this tells you what is selected at the moment so then you know what you're working on and you can format the selection or reset to the match style so for instance at the moment I'm selecting chart area if I click here I'm selecting plot area vertical value axis horizontal category axis legend chart title etc so first of all if you're not too familiar with a the building blocks of a chart by clicking on them and reading here what they are you can see what they are called in Excel second of all you can then select them uh, once you have um, clicked on them and you can format them say for instance sales I'm here on a chart title format selection and this gives me the options what I can do with the chart title so I can change the fill solid fill for instance as you can see it's already showing me what it's doing I choose a different color there you go choose transparency etc border color you can choose black um, again transparency border style you can make it heavier etc 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 round bevel shadow if you want a shadow just add it like that you can play with basically everything here so say you're you've formatted the chart title in that way you're not happy with it click on it reset to match style brings you back to the start simple as that the other thing you can do here is as you can see in the uh, sorry here you can insert I uh, don't find these very useful personally but you might you can insert a picture a shape or a text box on the chart um, what I do find useful is this area here especially the labels and the axis so for instance you can change chart titles uh, and there are a couple already made options so you can have none disappears centered overlay title so on the chart or above the chart and more title options takes you back to the window that we were playing with just earlier so and this applies to all the other options as well axis title you have the choice of primary horizontal axis title where you can have none or a title below the axis you can see here it adds something that says axis title then you double click on it and then you have the option of uh, typing in whatever you want and then you can again if you want to do it like this right click format axis title or much quicker you can just do the format you want format axis title again it takes you this this window where you can play with all the uh, all the various features of um, Excel legend you can have a legend and you can choose where you want to show it uh, again say you want to show it at the top uh, here we have only one set of information just sales so it doesn't really matter but let's say you had another one that had budget you would then here have sales and budget in a different color and showing the chart the various bars in a different color so that's very important um, for all the things that we looked at um, remember that you can always once you click on them you can always just simply delete them by press delete there you go so you can get rid of it uh, basically everything on the chart um, data labels this is very important for um, where numbers are difficult to read uh, just on the chart itself so you might want to choose to display them uh, close to the actual number so here we are showing the actual value so we don't have to guess how much it is uh, an important feature that I found very useful throughout my years in using Excel is you click on it right click format data labels and then here you have the labels options yeah the most important ones I have found is that you can add the series name which in this case doesn't mean much because it's all sales or the category name 
which in this case helps a lot because it tells me the month. So say for instance I didn't want to show the month here, I wanted to show close to the action. Uh, I would go January 120,000. What I can also do at the moment, there are a bit of overlap and stuff like that. So I can separate them by putting a new line in it. And as you can see, it's much neater and tighter. And last one important here is data tables. So you can, show, again, if you think that it's better to show a table of data in connection, in, in connection with um, the actual uh, chart, you can show the, so for instance, data table with legend keys. There you go. So at the bottom, it shows you the month, it shows you the, the number. So you might want, you know, then able to get rid of the data labels. Um, one thing I want to show you, if you click on the series, so you select, as you can see here, series sales selected, then you want to format that a series. You can choose uh, the gap width, uh, so between the bars. So say for instance you want closer together, there you go. You want a larger gap, skinnier ones. So again, this is very important depending on how many how much information you have to uh, display. There you go. Axes, as I said before, you can show them or, or, or rather, uh, you can choose not to show it. Uh, so the horizontal, then the vertical axis, none, so that disappears. Same thing with the grid lines, uh, none. Etc. Etc. So you can choose how uh, busy or otherwise you want to show your uh, your chart. Um, last one here, plot. You can show the plot area. Um, at the moment, it's, not, it's showing like this. You can change the color by doing format plot area. And say, for instance, you want a solid fill. There you go. And it's also useful when you choose the same color for. Uh, the um, the whole chart area, so in a way it gets much, much more sophisticated. It's a case of choosing the right colors, which I haven't, necess I haven't necessarily done here. The last thing here is format. So here you have all the, basically all these things that were already seen before. It's just a matter of being able to um, more directly format in uh, the the uh, the various items. So, so for instance, select data sales, the, the the actual range. I want to color it different for fill. There you go. It's much easier like that. Um, out of the three, I think this is the least uh, useful in a way because you can do a lot of things already here. However, these are the basic um, things you can do uh, with regards to formatting a chart. So transforming a chart from something that is relatively uh, common and uh, maybe bland to something much more powerful and where you can actually stamp your own style, make sure that everyone knows that it's your own chart that has been produced.